One of the biggest keys to throwing far on a consistent basis is speed. And one of the things you have to learn how to do is how do you control the speed. Oh my! So one of the things we're gonna talk about in this video is how to hit the right type of speed, what to keep relaxed, what to accelerate. So check it out in this video. Hey, it's Eric Johnson from Air Tate Throws Nation. In today's YouTube video, what we're gonna discuss is lower body speed. We wanna go as fast as humanly possible in our rotational throws, in all of our throws, but in today's tip, we're gonna talk about the discus and how do we get that lower body speed and avoid overactive over body and create the right type of upper body speed. Recently, when I train a lot of young throwers, what they're gonna do is balance points start to come off. Remember, what we talk about in the throwing chain reaction system is that how we set up that start. We talked about this in the video where we're staying center and how we're walking through our progressions and how we want to be nice and controlled. But that means when we start to throw, what happens is one of the reasons why upper body speed becomes too much of an issue is that when an athlete is falling into the throw, the counterbalance is to open the arm the wrong way too fast. And we talked about the entry arm in one of our recent YouTube videos. The point is, is when you're off balance, that can create upper body speed because if I'm falling, right? I'm going to be doing this thing. And so if I fall here, then I'm going to be falling here. So I'm going to open too soon. And this is another thing that also leads to sector fouls, which we created a video on that. So check that out. So today, what we want to focus on is creating the right type of speed. And really what you want to be thinking about as a thrower is we talk about lower body speed. You can go as fast as you want lower body. There's more of a controlled path of the upper body and upper body speed is very crucial as well. But one of the easiest things for developing throwers is to have them understand the motion of the lower body and how to move that that fast. One of the things we do is that as we come around, we want to make sure again, we go with that wide sweep. Being on balance, progression, sweeps, all these sorts of issues, right? Those are all the things that kind of fall into play. But what we want to be looking at is as we stay wide, we want to be accelerating the lower body. You're going to notice how that creates a whipping type motion. When we're doing various drills and we come through here and we're really creating that, you see how the hip comes around and that's what's gonna create that nice whipping action in the throw. Now, some guys are slapping it and really punch at it. And there's been some successful guys in history that have been able to throw successfully like that. But again, those are the anomalies. And they didn't necessarily dart out that way, right? They got to a point that taught them how to feel and be dynamic, and that became more of a style thing. But what we wanna understand is, as we start moving, we wanna be quickly accelerating our delivery side. And that's what the thing is. So as we come out of the back, the sweep leg accelerates and it continues to accelerate through the throw. One of the simple tips for young throwers is to keep that upper body, keep it long and loose. That's the main difference between the shot where you're jamming it in there, you're a little bit more forward and everything's more here and it's a more tensed up movement, whereas the discus has got to stay super long. So when you look at videos of the best guys in the world, you can see how long and relaxed the arms are, but they're accelerating and they'll smash the crap out of the finish and it's an awesome thing to see, but you're going to notice that the lower body is super dynamic and that's what you want to be thinking about. So at your next practice, you want to keep the upper body long, loose and relaxed and you want to keep the lower body accelerating. So what we're going to do is we're going to see our throw and you're going to see the upper body and you're going to see that lower body really cranking. You notice how that pushes my hip. It's going to help me engage my block faster. And then you're going to see the whipping action of the upper body. So keep that in mind. That's your tip for the day. Hopefully you find that helpful. And if you did, be sure to give us a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, comment below on anything you'd like to see in our coming videos, and we will see you on the next video. Be sure to check out our next videos. Be sure to subscribe. Visit our website for free videos. Click the links below. We have links to our free mini course. Check out our websites for camps and different detailed information. Throw farther faster by understanding the science with the Throwing Chain Reaction System. Thanks so much for watching.